Brook trout are absolutely the fish of our headwater streams. And brook trout is the only native trout species that lives in the streams around here. It's just perfect. Brook trout have everything they need. Cold water, good food, nice habitat. Brook trout do not stay in one place all the time, but they swim to get more food. They swim to find good areas where they can spawn, lay their eggs. And so they need to access this clean, cold water. The National Fish and Wildlife Foundation was created by Congress to protect and restore the nation's fish and wildlife and their habitats. In this region, we have a, a grant program called the Central Appalachian Habitat Stewardship Program, and we award those grants to groups like Trout Unlimited. They work really hard in this region to uh, restore cold water streams for eastern brook trout. We were just taking a look at some great habitat. We have really cold water. We have excellent source of food for them, great tree cover. However, we have a culvert like this that they're not going to be able to pass through up and down and the trout cannot access that habitat. We found that a majority of these road stream crossings are actually acting as barriers to fish movement. Out of the over 2,000 culvert surveys that we've completed to date, we have worked on a couple dozen culvert replacement projects. And we do a lot of this work through funding from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation. These road stream crossings where you've had a failure and you've cut off the fish from upstream habitat. And all you do is fix that culvert and suddenly the fish can repopulate so you can get huge wins with a little bit of investment. So it's really a simple fix. What we have now is a much larger structure. And there is no problem, as you can see, for fish to be able to pass through there to access the cold water habitat upstream. And it's not only fish that can pass safely through there, but now we have the flood waters that can also pass safely through there. And we won't have any of those flooding issues. Over the last maybe four or five years, we've opened up over 20 miles of brook trout habitat. Brook trout are not the only benefactors of the projects that we do. And so when we replace a culvert, a lot of other aquatic species or animals that simply use the stream corridor to travel are also benefiting. Our goal here is to bring everything together so that we have a healthy functioning watershed that has healthy forests for birds and also healthy streams for this whole rich, diverse system.